वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन इज इट ऑन और नॉट शॉर्टेस्ट आंसर नॉट सो सून देर आर स्टेप्स बींग टेकन इन दिस डायरेक्शन बट द बॉल इज रोलिंग इट माइट रीच द मार्क और इट माइट नॉट मेक इट there are challenges to its viability but the fact is that the conversation has begun on simultaneous elections in india this is quick take your quick guide i am smita prakash On August 31st, Union Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi announced that a special session of Parliament has been called from 18th to the 22nd of September, having five sittings. A day later, the centre constituted a committee headed by former President Ram Nath Kovin to explore the possibility of one nation, one election (ONOE). As expected, the BJP and the opposition crossed swords over the ONOE proposal. The concept of one nation one election in India aims to synchronize elections for the Lok Sabha the lower house of Indian parliament and all assemblies of the states the idea is to hold these elections simultaneously either on a single day or within a specific time frame however in a country with 28 states and 8 union territories the election commission has always stared at challenges to ensure citizens of the country exercise their right to franchise it's not a new concept having taken place four times in the 1950s and 60s but india had fewer states and a smaller population that could vote according to a report by the center for media studies around 55000 crore rupees or 8 billion dollars was spent during the lok sabha elections of 2019 there have been several state elections after that so almost an equivalent amount spent in the past 4 years however one nation one election would need a constitutional amendment and then it would need to be taken to the state assemblies what is this one nation one election is it viable in a country which has the largest voting population in the world is it a necessity as claimed by the proponents or will this impact the federal structure of the country Prime Minister Modi has consistently advocated the concept of simultaneous elections since coming to power in 2014. One nation, one election. सिर्फ एक चर्चा का विषय नहीं है, बल्कि ये भारत की जरूरत है. The argument of the BJP and the others who support ONOE is that simultaneous polls will save time and money. ensure focus on development and also a higher voter turnout samvidhan nirmataon ne one nation one election ka pravadhan pehle se hi kanoon mein aur samvidhan mein rakha tha aur isiliye 1952 mein 1957 mein 1962 mein 1967 mein one nation one election ki tarz par vidhan sabha aur lok sabha chunav ek sath hue 2015 mein sarkar ne election commission se pucha कि क्या वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन फिर से करना संभव है तो इलेक्शन कमीशन ने भारत सरकार को बताया है कि बिल्कुल संभव है और हम करा सकते हैं अगर संविधान में संशोधन हो जाए लोक प्रतिनिधित्व अधिनियम उन्नीस सौ इक्यासी में उन्नीस सौ इक्यावन में संशोधन हो जाए और हमें ईवीएम वीवीपैट जो पर्याप्त नहीं नहीं है उनकी मैन्युफैक्चर और खरीदने के लिए पैसा हो जाए और पर्याप्त संख्या में पैरामिलिट्री फोर्स मिल जाए करंटली फोर स्टेट सिक्किम आंध्र प्रदेश Odisha and Arunachal Pradesh go to poll simultaneously with the Lok Sabha elections because the term of these assemblies if they complete their full term that is usually conclude close to the time when the term of the Lok Sabha concludes but there are other states whose term also end about 6 months or so before the general elections though the dates for the 2024 elections haven't been announced If one nation one election does come into effect it could mean the elections for the Lok Sabha state assemblies and rural governing bodies like panchayats across India will be held simultaneously with voting taking place at the same time will this benefit the country and the voters subjective impression ye aata hai ki lagatar election chalte rehne se neta bhi election mein bhid jate hain janta ke muddon se unka dhyan bhatak jata hai प्रशासन भी चार पांच महीने के लिए ढीला पड़ जाता है तो हो सकता है कि वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन होने से पूरे पांच साल राजनेता और प्रशासन दोनों फोकस तरीके से जनता के मुद्दों पर काम करें और जनता का ज्यादा से ज्यादा भला कर पाएं। 
the eight member committee is tasked with examining and recommending necessary amendments to the constitution especially representation of the people's act 1950 and the representation of the people's act 1951 If the panel recommends ONOE to come into effect then amendments to the constitution might also require ratification by the states former president ramnath kovin led committee will also have to chalk out possible solutions in a scenario of simultaneous elections emerging out of a hung house adoption of no confidence motion or defection or any such event and then the enormity of the task the logistics the manpower required including how many evms which are electronic voting machines vv pats which is voter verifiable paper audit trail for holding such simultaneous elections the modalities of using a single electoral roll and electoral identity cards for identification of voters all eyes are on the upcoming special session of parliament on september 18th Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi has said that the committee report would be discussed in parliament perhaps the discussion will paint a clearer picture on the proposal road map till then ONOE is expected to continue to hit the headlines